Well, Roger, 100 titles are finally yours. You already had so many records. What does this latest landmark represent to you? Well, it makes me look back at uh, how it all started and uh, how badly I won my first title back in Milan, which was actually owned by the Dubai tournament uh, at the time. Uh, and yeah, and I was hoping that one day I was going to win a title uh, just before that Milan final, and I did. And uh, that I'm sitting here today having won 100 is, uh, I don't know, is disbelief, even though, of course, the last few... Um, Titles ever since I guess I reached like 96, 97, I started feeling, well, maybe 100 is possible. And, and it was, and uh, it's a big moment for me tonight here in Dubai. I'd like to thank the team, you know, everybody who's um, made it possible for myself because, you know, people only see the player, the guy who does it, but there's so much work going on behind, behind the scenes from all the, the friends and family and uh, parents and wife and coaches and everybody. So a uh, big thank you to all of them. So it's been special. And you did it as well by beating a player like Stefanos, who's obviously just starting the beginning of his journey, if you like. It fell out to the way, didn't it? Yeah, and it had to be that way, I guess, you know, playing a youngster. Um, so he had a great run. That's what I told him as well in Marseille. And then to back it up here again this week, he had a brutal match against Morfis yesterday. So I think uh, he should be very proud of, uh, of his run. And also he started so well in Australia, you know, when he made the semis there and also beating me along the way. And uh, I think he's definitely going to be, you know, a future star of our game. I mean, he already kind of is, you know, but we'll see so much more of him. And uh, I always enjoy playing the next generation, you know, that come through because one day I'll be sitting on my couch and I'll be watching them and enjoying their tennis. And nice as well to do it in Dubai, obviously, for the eighth title here, because so many special memories for you in this place, isn't there? Yeah, I mean, I've been coming here ever since 2002 and uh, uh, won my eighth title just now. And that goes in connection with the 100th. And I uh, also spent a lot of time here in the off-season getting ready for Australia and other places like Shanghai. So, I mean, look, uh, I think it's definitely a bit of a home court advantage for me here to some extent. But also, I just seem to play well in February, you know, also last year winning Rotterdam this time of the year. Um, it just kind of works out for me. But, uh, you know, um, winning here again tonight uh, was definitely uh, a crazy moment in my career. No doubt about it. And that 100, of course, it also takes you a step closer to that incredible record of, of Jimmy Connors. I mean, how, what does it feel like to be so close to a player like that? And do you ever stop to consider your own sort of sporting legacy, if you like? Yeah, I mean, look what Jimmy did, that, that is, uh, is very special, you know, no doubt about it, because he played for a long time, he won the US Open on three different surfaces, uh, that, that won't be possible for us, for our generation, because it's stuck in hard courts now. So yeah, so many cool records as well that never, can never be broken or achieved, and I know a lot of pe people are probably going to say, now, well, now you have to reach Jimmy Connors' uh, record, you know, but I'm not that kind of a guy, even though people might think I am. I draw inspiration from it, but I'm not here out here to shatter every one record out there. And, uh, and he's a special, a special player and a special legend in the sport. And, um, and if he keeps that record, it's all good. I'm just happy to have reached 100 in my career. And when you talked about it, the other landmarks along the way, you sort of, some sort of special memories that pop up for you. What's your prevailing sort of memory you think you'll take away from this week? That I do play a lot of tennis in between slams as well, because a lot of people remember the 20 I won at the slam level, but uh, I don't want to say forget about the 80 uh, that I have won away from it. And I've lost a lot of finals as well. I haven't won all 100 finals that I played in. I, I can tell you that I lost over 50 finals. Um, and I think that's what I see. Uh, I see a lot of tennis, I see a lot of running, and uh, a privilege still to be playing this sport right now today.